Yeah, guys, it's the 3rd, 3rd December 2024. Pre market's open, Neo stock, Neo stock, guys. Pre market's open, but obviously, um, obviously, live market's not open yet. It's early hours in the morning here in the UK, guys. Um, just gonna tell you time is coming up to 17 minutes past 6 a.m 17 minutes past 6 a.m guys on the 3rd of december 2024 neo stock <clears throat> last time i checked the price action stock was climbing somewhat not a lot but there were signs there there were signs there, I covered it in my last video. And in fact, the video before that, I actually predicted, I actually predicted that Neo stock would be rising. I actually predicted it guys, I said Neo stock would be rising. Um, it's two weeks late really. If it does go up in December, right it's two weeks roughly two weeks late because covered it in my last video i predicted it would go up didn't prior to that i predicted eight eight moves it would you know eight moves i was correct right and <clears throat> the last one i predicted not that i wasn't correct technically i wasn't but it got bashed down, which I said it that could happen. It, it could be, it could be, you know, events outside of a normal range, you know, the normal workings of the price action that could affect the price action. And I was right. I was correct. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. So the price action um <clears throat> should have went up i think if it wasn't for those events but it didn't it actually went down because of those events and it went sideways and then it's been kind of like kind of like edging up going diagonal you know um <clears throat> And obviously people fear that it could could crash, right? It could go down. But I don't think it will. Not let not unless there was a stock market crash. Right? And even if there was a stock market crash, I don't think it would stay down for long. I think Neo, although, you know, obviously like there's so many, so many stocks out there. I think that Neo would recover, not for that your advice, right? Just my opinion. I think Neo would recover <clears throat> if there was a, a um, stock market crash because they mainly sell in China, right? They mainly, mainly sell in China. And that's the thing, right? So what I want to get onto is, yeah, I want to get onto about Tesla. Tesla's being hit left, right and centre, right? If you read the news. But just to finish about, just to talk about Neo before I get onto that and how that connects. That, as I said, I think Neo is going to go up. I think it's going to go up today. It's already got, gone up in the pre-market. I mean, after hours trading which is like heading for, going to be heading for obviously pre-market when the market opens, <clears throat> you know, later on. So I'm pretty certain, well, I can't be 100% as I say, anything can happen, but I'm confident, I'm confident. I called it right. I don't know how many times, about eight times. I, I, I haven't even counted, but it's all there in my videos. It's all documented, right? It's all documented. 
So based on the same or similar, you know, analysis, price, price action analysis, I'm pretty certain that the stock is going to make a move. It's about to make a move. If, I, if I'm like, if I'm off one, two days or even a week, like, so be it. But I think today's the day, guys. I might be wrong. But I think I'm, I'm kind of like half right already because it's in the after hours trading, it was picking up last time I checked. Not significantly. I can't say, oh no, I called it right because it went up a few cents. But what I'm saying is I think that if I, if I have called it right, I think in the live market, there would be a significant move of at least 30, you know, um <clears throat> at least 30 cents in, on the first day 30 35 cents right which is significant isn't it like in the current state uh, of, of neo going from 450 down to 430 like 20 cents for it to climb from 440 say to 480 that's quite significant isn't it because it's a it's a different direction you know it's going up instead of down and also it's like 40 cents is significant it's like um it's not 20 cents not 15 10 cents so that's what i think's going to happen on the 3rd of december 2024 today later on right in the live market we may see a big move before the us live market like obviously from China moving forward, you know, like like um, outside trades, you know, outside trades in the, in the basically in the pre market, what goes over into the pre market. We might see some big moves in the pre pre market, right? Um, if there's going to be a big uptick. So we could see some big moves. So anyway, getting on to Tesla, there's there's a lot of news. Like I can't even keep up with it. With it, there's so much news about Tesla. Tesla's being bashed down. You know, all sorts of um, all sorts of um, <clears throat> all sorts of news relating to Tesla, and I think that's going to reflect good on EV. Chinese EV stocks, you know, because they can't have it always. The, you know, like if they want to basically talking about trade wars and um, hyperinflation, you know, high inflation, like if that's the way it's going to be heading, that's going to lead to a stock market crash, guys. And, and it's not good for the US consumer. It's not, you know, it's going to add thousands and thousands of dollars onto the US consumer. I mean, how rich do these people want to get crashing the, um, cra want to crash the stock market? I mean, how rich do they want to get, you know? They don't really care, ultimately. That's what it is. It's not about stock market being up or the country being stronger. What it's about is themselves. And that's what you find with all most if not all of people with money right rich people and so on it's all about greed right it's all about themselves everything is about themselves even giving money giving money to charities it's like they're not giving it for their pocket it comes out of their tax right if they give money to someone it's for a reason they want something back right it's you know, it's total greed. And, and the thing is, how rich do you need to be? How rich do you need to be? Right? 350 billion? 350 billion is not, is not enough, is it? You want to be richer. <laughs> You're going to live forever, right? So you want to be richer. You want to you wanna get to 500 billion, right? Or 1,000 billion, trillion, whatever. You want to... You want to be richer than rich, right? So it's not enough. It's not enough for these people, right? And the one, one of the ways they get rich, 
like say rich i mean you know 350 billion i wouldn't call that rich i call it super rich but one of the ways they get even richer let's say is by obviously making people suffer if it's costing you know if they cause inflation right and it's cost it costs people money it costs families money then they gain from that right because they structured every move they structure right every move they make is structured in a way that they profit from whether it hurts people whether people make money whether people lose money right <clears throat> you know the economy you get inflation rises whether there's a stock market crash right because look they've got so many you know so many ways of making money whether <clears throat> the market goes up or down right the market goes down crashes and make money on the way down but it's not just making money on a stock market it's there's like a ton of ways to make money when the market crashes. There's a ton of ways and they've got it all worked out. They've got it all worked out into strategy. And that's how that that's what they do basically. That's how they that's how they, you know, that's how they make money when the market's going down, right? So when the market goes up, they make money when the market goes up as well. And that's it guys. So Neo stock Neo stock could be Neo stock could be a stock that they buy. That they buy. Why is that? Because Neo stock is on the US stock market. Right? They could pump Neo stock. Neo stock could go to the moon. It could go to the moon. There's not that many Chinese EV makers on the US stock market guys wake up smell the coffee right wake up right so if they want a Chinese stock if they want a Chinese EV stock then Neo is your prime you know is their prime target right and there's, look how much upside it has So that's the point. There's a lot of upside, right? Neo's got a lot of upside. And the point is that Neo is due for a lift. It's due to rocket. Overdue. I'm not going to say rocket, rocket. I'm not going to say go to the moon, rocket. But I predicted 850 to 950 within that range could be a bit below could be a bit over but i predicted that and and it's gone over the time when i said right although in one of my other videos i did say that it could extend into december so i'm not entirely right out of of my prediction right because i did say that at least once i said that in, in my previous one or two of my previous videos i said it could extend you know, it could extend into December, the move. Now, a lot of people are not expecting a move, right? And I'm probably the only channel, if you're hearing this, I'm probably, probably the only channel, only, only, only channel, right, on, on YouTube that is talking about Neo going up, right, soon, today, or in December, and that it's been overdue, right? Because you're going to see, you're going to listen to channels that are talking about Neo stock going down. Or Neo needs to sell more cars before the stock goes up. Or the government need to, you know, basically fund them, right? Stimulus. You know, the Chinese government. Or tariffs. America need to sort of you know there needs to be no tariffs or low tariffs for chinese you know basically goods goods and services right such as ev you know <clears throat> such as ev 
electric vehicles, right? That's what you're probably going to hear on other channels. Well, I'm unique. My channel's unique, right? Because my channel, as you know, I called it right eight times, about eight times, with Neo stock on the price action before it even made a move up or down when I said it would go up or down. Before Neo stock had even gone up or gone down, I said it would go up, go down. I was correct. I called it right. The others didn't even call it. Mr. Pick, prick, prickly Pear, he was talking about stock going to 60 cents, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, right? That's what he was talking about. And um, anyway, guys, like, that's my price action prediction for Neo stock. And I'm confident that I'm confident that it's going to make a move in December. I'm pretty sure it's overdue, as I said, it's overdue. So we've got to see, guys. We've got to wait and see, but I'm pretty confident, right? Going to watch the market later on. I've got another stock going up. I need, like, it's not, it's not within my range yet. I, I, need, I need basically needs to go up quite a bit more for me to exit that stock to get my profit target, what I'm looking for. And then I've got another stock, which I'm in profit, but I think it's gonna go up a lot more. I'm kind of not, I'm not really tempted to sell, but it's always tempting when you're in sort of profit, blah, 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 but, and then obviously I've got, I'm in Neo, I've got stock in Neo. And as I said, I think I mentioned it in some of my previous videos, not stock price not low enough for me to to buy to buy more and I don't think it will go down like as low as I need it to for me to buy it more don't think it, it would go down <clears throat> I don't want it to go down anyway I don't want it to go down even for a day but I don't think it will but Let's say it did, for example, in a stock market crash, and I think that is the only way it would go down. Let's say it did go down in a stock market crash, then I would be tempted to buy more, right? But I'm not tempted to, I'm not, I'm not tempted to buy more. Yeah, so that's the situation. That's the situation with Neo stock. I think it's going to go up, as I said. And um, I'm just going to, like, like, you've got to have diamond hands, right? You've got to hold, right? Hold, 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 right? Not financial advice. But if you're looking for higher, if you're looking for the rocket, you got to be prepared to hold, even long term, because it's one of the it's one of the hardest things to do. That there is certain things that that are difficult in trading and investing, right? There's certain things that are difficult, but like I could I could mention some, but I don't want to get into it. But one of them. Funny enough, one of them is like when, um, well, one of them is like, you know, when your stock's going up, you don't hold it long enough, right? Or even when you're in profit, right? You don't hold it long enough. Some of you may have bought in 370 and cashed out on the way up to 770, right? And then ultimately, you know, if Neo goes to the moon, you're gonna regret that you sold early you know, for a small profit when you could have got a lot more. That's one of the things, right? That, you know, 
difficult to do to to hold and then hold hold basically diamond hands when you're down basically just holding your stop for a long term it's difficult to do as well it's all about timing i suppose some people exit with their money back they don't like the situation or whatever they get out of it with their money back well some people don't care they they ride up and down they ride the waves they don't care they've got a target price and they and they don't care right they hold it long term whether they lose 70 percent and then it goes back up to their money back or they go 70 percent in profit and it's not their target price they don't sell you know they just ride the waves right some people hold through waves even like you know if they if, if some people are looking for x10 x20 plus even if it went x3 x4 some people just hold right they don't even sell because they know that when stocks go up x2 x3 x4 they don't really come back down to like um you know to the base level again i mean all right it did when it went to 67 dollars neo stock but that was because of covid right because they like loads of stocks got pumped right so you should know that so you're not going to see like right st right it still happens right short squeezes and pump and dumps and so on it still happens generally it still happens but it only really happens when it suits them the people that cause it right the big money that causes it and then when they're finished with it when they've made their money right then they pull out they exit and that's it guys right so at the moment with neo stock still like i'm holding i'm holding right i'm holding long term and um i think it's going to go up december and i think if i'm right if it goes up at this early stage right i think if i am correct i don't think it's going to come down by much like you might think, oh, if it goes up to say six dollars or eight dollars, it's going to come down, right? Back down to four dollars or whatever. But I don't think it will. I don't think it will, guys. I think this is the early start, right? I think that this is the early start of the big move. When I say big move, I'm talking about extended big move. You know, to 30, 40, 50 plus dollars, right? I think this is the early stage of it uh, for Neo stock. Um, a lot of you probably disagree, and you're only like looking at Neo, basically, you're only looking at Neo stock when, when it goes up. And I know that's true with all. All, all different stocks and cryptos people only get they only really look at them when they make a move when they go up they only talk about them then right but what i'm trying to say is that you should be looking at it now and considering what, what you're going to do are you buying more neo stock you should be considering that now no, not financial advice. You know, I'm not telling you to buy, I'm not telling you to buy, I'm not telling you to sell, I'm not telling you to hold, I'm not telling you to go long or go short. Not financial advice. I'm just saying that Neo stock is not as low as it was when it was 360 in recent times, but it's pretty low now, guys. If you're thinking about loading up, you know, then it's pretty low. The price is pretty low, right? 440. Can't get much lower for you to want to buy in Neo stock. So the price is pretty low. And that's the point. 
people should consider buying if they're, if they're going to hold for long term as I said you could get like you know you could get the big boys load up with Neo stock as I said how many how many Chinese EVs are on the US stock market guys answer me that in the comments right let me know in the comments how many Chinese EV companies are on the US stock market and then do the maths right work it out Neo's growing in numbers well it looks flat at the moment slightly down on you know month on month but percentage wise year on year Neo's actually obviously growing and that year on year percentage is likely to increase based on the num you know the mo the other models coming out it's that percentage is likely to increase I've talked about I've spoken about this as well in my other videos that when you go past a certain year from say from the first models they you know started selling when you get to about year seven from year seven you're going to get peak like you're going to get loads of from year seven you're going to get loads of you know um reorders right you're going to get loads of reorders from lease companies you know rental companies and private owners right that have actually bought a, a car to keep long term you're going to get pre, you know you're going to get reorders right because obviously people that buy the vehicles people that buy neo vehicles the average lifespan of a car like if you own a car generally is about seven years obviously some people hold it longer right 10 15 years or whatever but generally on average i'm talking about on average right like people own cars they generally if if, if they own cars and they don't have it on a lease they seven years would be roughly about average where they would get rid of it trade it in to get get a new car right obviously some people as i say keep them longer um but generally seven years is about the time people would be you know people that own the car outright a neo car they would be selling it obviously like they get some money back on it right half price or get maybe 40 percent back 35 percent and they put that money towards a, a new car let's say if they don't want to lease if they're not if they're not leasing a car right because sometimes it works out cheaper to buy a car outright and then trade it in buy another one and trade it in sometimes so so, so people for different reasons right they buy a car outright and obviously don't forget you've got those cars they don't just go to the scrapyard those neo cars that have been sold on they're going to be bought by the second hand market right so the second hand market they're going to be using the battery swap stations so imagine the profits of the battery swap stations in the future guys just drinking my coffee imagine the future profits for battery swap you're talking if there's like say there's three million cars on the road and every day let, no, let's say every week right because some people drive more than others but average it out let's say half the people charge the vehicle like every week at home yeah roughly just rough roughly roughly at home and or charging stations which some of them could be neo right and let's say the other half on the road 
change your battery say on average say once a week yeah uh, a battery swapping station so a million and a half battery swaps well let, let's just say a million a week right well I don't know if, if, if it's that much I don't know I'm just I'm just guesstimate, guesstimating the numbers, right? Because the CEO, William Lee, said that you're, he, want, he, wanted to, he wanted more battery swapping stations, right? That's what he said. He said he wanted more battery swapping stations. So... If he wanted more battery swapping stations, that's because he knows there's going to be a lot of Neo cars on the road. Right? There's going to be a lot of Neo cars on the road. And if there's a lot of Neo cars on the road in the future, then it goes without saying there's going to be a lot of charging going on. Now, you imagine one station, like, what is it going to be? 4,000 charging. Um, 4,000 battery swapping stations, right? So out of 4,000 battery swapping stations, right? Out of 4,000 battery swapping stations, you're going to have, you know, could be 20, there could be 20 batteries changed in one day, you know, in one station, times 4,000. Right, so you do the maths. What's that? Uh, Eighty thousand, isn't it? Eighty thousand in a day. So times ten days, that's eight 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 hundred thousand times ten days, right? Eighty in a day times ten, eight hundred thousand. So in ten days, that's just based on that figure. So roughly. It is, it's probably almost like a million a week. It's probably almost, almost like a million a week, right? If they got, like, you know, I don't know how much, because people pay monthly. Some people pay monthly, but let's just say roughly works out to $20 per change. Just say roughly. You do the maths, right? A million times 20. 20 million, guys. $20 million dollars a week profit right so that's roughly what 80 million a month times 10 months like guys in a year it's almost a billion from battery swaps and when you combine the battery swaps plus the charging points and the old charging points it's roughly they're going to make about a billion dollars a year on, on they're, they're, they're basically the new fuel station. Work it out. Give yourself a slap for not working it out sooner. They're replacing fuel stations, right? And they've got the coal. They've got the nuclear power to to get the power to these um, um, charging points and battery swapping to charge their batteries. They don't care, right? About uh, you know problem of getting electricity. So guys, just want to end the video here, right? Cause just almost drunk my coffee. Just to say, right? Think about that. Think about how much they can profit, right? A billion, a billion guys, a billion dollars a year. Now how much does that make the company worth now? Work it out. And that's just in China, by the way. That's just in China. Forget about sales of EVs in other countries and all the other accessories and parts, etc. that you know, goes with it, with sales and everything. So guys, in the next video, yeah? It's diamond hands, diamond hands, diamond hands all the way, Neo stock.